Well, hello, hello. Sorry for the delay. Computer is also having some fun. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry about missing last week. I am battling a sinus infection, so we'll see how long today is go today today's goes. Today goes. Um, if you saw my Coffee Craft stream earlier in the week, you'll know that it was a little shorter than usual. And probably going to be the same again today. Although... <laughs> Fighting, uh, fighting with my computer did not exactly help things either. So, to recap, we had finished up everything that was going on on Manon. All the intrigue, all the spying, all the um, hidden things that were going on. And we found the final bit of star map. Um, off camera I tried to finish up the, the racing stuff because extra credits is always useful I completed two of the three time trials it's probably a good thing I didn't try streaming this because I got so close to that third time to beat a few times that um, some some language might have been muttered that would have uh changed my channel rating so <laughs> so with that what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up i'll come back to manan later and we'll take care of uh and i'll, I'll try to finish up that last race for the credits um on another day but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and hop on board the ship And we're going to head back over to the space station over at Yavin because I believe we're at the point where he's supposed to give us some, uh, or open up some new trades. And I want to see what's over there before I head off to the next planet. But before I forget, How can do you I have help? anything to say? No. Nope. Never mind. Then I suggest we move on. Okay. Uh, since there's almost certain to be an animation that causes trouble, let me go ahead and switch over to the desktop video capture. And let's go to the galaxy map. And way out in the middle of nowhere. Let's hit travel over to Yevon. And the screen on my right is on a little delay, so I'm not 100% sure it's working until... Okay, good. There it is. <laughs> Hooray for delays. Uh, I need a fourth monitor. That's what I need. All right. Oh, no, I don't want to copyright strike. Oh, hooray, we flew. Pickle me, pickle me, tickle me, too. I'll have to go look that one up and see if I can't uh, randomly throw that one out somewhere. And for those of you who have never seen Shell Silverstein, what happened? Uh, What's going you really on? ought to fix that. Uh -oh. Fifth interdictor Problems. ship. They must have been waiting for uh, us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor uh -oh. beam. Do you recognize the ship? <laughs> it's the Leviathan. It's a Leviathan. Saul Karras vessel. I own uh -oh. Well. I guess we've got some different drama about to happen. So much for headed over to Yavin. Alright. We're about to be tractored in. That's no moon. Oh wait, wrong movie. Um, <laughs> that's just a big, honking, mean-looking ship. Kind of looks like it's got a little bit of a mouth there too. Like you know, should I should I have named my character Jonah? About to be swallowed by the Leviathan. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. And there was a legend no. in the Republic fleet, and a hero to me until he betrayed us when the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan. Saul Carrot's flagship was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. 
Thank you for the added complications. Um, this is your chance. Avenge the deaths of your family. Feel the... Oh, wait, no, I'm not playing that kind of Jedi. Um, <laughs> don't do anything you'll regret. <laughs> don't do anything I'll regret. No, no, no. Uh, don't... Yeah, let's go. Don't let your lust for revenge cloud your I'm not going to do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, <laughs> but... If I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get in my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. I'll admit, it won't that be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Carath doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance who to avoid capture chance. so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. Alright, uh... Okay, so... We gotta figure out who is going to spring us at the best possible moment. Um... I could be boastful. Don't worry, I can get away from Admiral Kareth's guards. Mm, not the humble Jedi. Bastel, is there some way you could use your battle meditation here? That is an option. Karth knows Saul the best. He can get us out of this. Yeah, but I'm not trusting his judgment right now. Admiral Karth will be watching the three of us very closely. One of the others is going to have to save us. Yeah, I'm tempted to lean towards the battle meditation, but honestly, uh, every cutscene we've seen with the Admiral, he has been talking about the three of us. So that leads me to think that uh, one of the others might be the well, best if option. If we're going to pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're going to have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. <laughs> okay. Mission can do it. No person can hold her. That is okay. Mission can definitely pick the lock. She's got the stealth, but her combat capabilities, if it comes to it, is um. T three M four is in the same boat, except his combat capabilities are worse. Joel Lee could use the Force to affect their minds. Although of the Jedi, that's not Bastila and myself. Uh, he's he's not not my first pick. Uh, Candorus. Candorus does have the, uh, regen, which would be useful because there's no way this is going to happen without, uh, without some sort of combat. So, Candorus with his, uh, fast healing would, uh, I was trying to remember the name of the actual feat from D&D. &D. Uh, Candorus with his fast healing could definitely definitely be a good candidate he's also got the strength if it comes to melee and he's got the weapons proficiencies to manage uh shooting it out if he can get his hand on a blaster of some sort juhani would also be another good one because she does have the force powers and she does have stealth as well uh, and she's proven to be durable enough of the the two jedi that aren't the two of us HK-47 could also make it make it happen. Uh, he also has fast healing. He also has high strength. Uh, hmm. uh, that's a close one, too. <laughs> this sounds like a job for a Wookiee. <laughs> Do you need people to eliminate? Do you need people to move out the way? This sounds like a job for a Wookiee. Get yours today. No. Um, let, let's go with Jahani. She's got the best stealth options, and if it comes down to it, she can beat the snot out of somebody. You so speak let's the do truth. that. I alone of all the group might be able to remain hidden if well, the Sith search the ship. I could there. wait until the guards have completed their search, then come to rescue you. Alright, uh... Alright, we'll try it that way. I said, we'll try it that way. Hold on, they're dragging us into the docking bridge. <laughs> Hold on to your docking bridge. 
Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Carath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We searched the ship from top to bottom. Somebody would have had to be invisible for us not to find them in there. Well done. Return to your post well. and I'll tell the Admiral of this. I see the Empire's ability to search a ship is Karth, uh, legendary throughout all the ages. Spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Burn. Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my own world. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. This was an act of war. It was a war. cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, so... And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge Dude. if you must, but spare me your tired... You just got on there. And before. you're gonna call him out for empty words? I'm not sure he's behind anyway. a force field. Lord oh, Malik is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He oh. has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the dark side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Karath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the dark side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. <laughs> For the right offer, I could probably be convinced to join the Sith. No. You're wasting your time. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. I don't know. The, the Defiant is a ship in a different uh, if I just killed you star base. But he may want to question Cannon. you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. Uh, uh, the history? Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. They give you that option? Just throw Bastila under the bus? Like, why don't you just let me go? Bastila's the one you want. I won't get it. Okay. Yeah, I'll admit. Curiosity's got the better of me. History? You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, no, I, I really don't know what's going on here. Of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord hmm. Malak is in another sector. It may be some time I'm sorry. Arrives, Your Sith so Tormentor is in another sector. I'll have to fill in for him oh. until then. Activate sorry, different the problem. Ah! Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malak will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. Uh... <laughs> Don't torture me. I'll tell you everything you want to know. No. Uh... My loyalty is as true as best Uh... I'm sorry. What are you talking about? I am about? interrogating you, not the other way around. No, 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 no. I am questions. interrogating Not ask them. you. It is time to put this your is like that scene in the first test. Avengers where, you know, Black Widow's tied up to the chair and the evil guy is all like, ha ha, I got you. However, uh, even until, the you know, he finds out otherwise. Has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. Wait, what? <laughs> Ooh, that's an option? Go ahead, torture. I don't really like her anyway. Wow. I tell you what, so some of the options this game gives you are, uh... <laughs> they're rough, man. I might have to do a second playthrough and be, you know, an evil... Yeah, I'm not gonna beg. But I will not My betray the order. Meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? What a Very well, this is the price of your resistance. <laughs> Enough. 
You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a try test. To defy me. Obviously, Malak knew the academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Oh. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. Uh huh. <laughs> wow. I never liked them anyway. No, 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 no. I am very tempted to go. You'll pay for this. You'll pay for this crime, Saul. You and all the Sith. But that seems a little too, um. Dark Angel of Rain ish. Um. Uh, but I mean, the you're lying denial. It isn't true. Um, although if I if I answer that one, is he gonna say search your feelings? You know it to be true. It doesn't matter. Or, no, that's later in the franchise. The fact well, remains earlier that in the Jedi franchise, later in the timeline. Eradicated, along with any hope of someone coming to rescue you. Now tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? Well, I could tell him straight up. I could try to lie. Although my persuade has not been so hot. And quite frankly, I think the DC is out of anybody's reach on this one. So we'll just stick with the... Perhaps yeah, no. Not giving you an answer. The consequences of refusing to cooperate. Oh, I know the consequences. Uh, no! Uh, 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 Listen. Can you not hear her suffering? can spare her further pain by simply answering my questions. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? Uh, we're searching for the Star Forge. You're a sick and evil man. This accomplishes nothing. We will never betray the Republic. Eh, let's go ahead and throw some insults around. You are a sick and evil Perhaps man, another lesson Mr. Grinch. No! Ah, no! I beg you, no! Mercy! No! No! I am surprised she did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment. So now we're uh, tripping off I see I'm wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation the, uh, the pain box. considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. Ah! Mm hmm Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Karath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted Ain't that path. the truth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. Is this where we start singing Tainted Love? Did I? No, wait, no, I won't sing it. No copyright strikes. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Don't you ever get tired of being so preachy. Uh, no, no, no. No one is without hope of redemption. Yes. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face I mean, we of saved such unbridled cruelty. But you speak well, the truth. I so far we've I'm saved you, I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taras, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? Uh, <laughs> blame the victims. It's their own fault. They should have seen the attack coming. No, 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 no. Uh, it is hard to believe, but there is also a chance that he's a lying something or other. So uh, let, let's start with that. I can believe that Saul was lying to us, but even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger, casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, and Dar, Zar. I cannot Just imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saw gets back. Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I have to confess something. There was a moment, uh -oh. just a moment, 
When part of me was hoping you would tell him what he wanted to know. Was it part of you being electrocuted? Ouch. That's actually an option? The only reason I stayed silent was to watch you suffer? Uh, saw what a torch does no matter what. I'm sorry. I'm sorry is usually a wise answer. I know answer. you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain, but you did the right thing. I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position to watch you suffer like that. It might have been too much for me to bear. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we're here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope Juhani busts us out of here before he arrives. Yes, go ahead. I shall not be seen. State the plan while we're in the interrogation chamber, you absolute genius of a man. Light him up. You got two sabers. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's get the uh, camera back. And... Let's go ahead and save that right there. Alright, are you sure you want to overwrite the game? Yes, I am sure I want to overwrite the game. We are now at episode 18. Okay. Alright, what does she have to work with? Literally the clothes on her back. Like, there is no extra shields. Ooh, I hope those have enough charges to last. Because, uh... Yeah... Did I make a mistake? She does have the power to heal, right? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, good. I was a little worried about the whole lack of med packs thing. Um, let's pause. I shall not that's be stealth. Oh. Let's search the remains first. 27 bucks. I'm sure I could bribe a janitor maybe with that. Yeah, probably a janitor. This is probably... Where does this go? Uh, okay, that, that goes nowhere I want to be. Oh, I'm out of self. I shall not be seen. Shall not be seen. This is the way we shuffle forward, shuffle forward, shuffle forward. Oh man, not even a grenade? Sure would be nice if I had some grenades. Oh, different franchise. Sorry. Hmm. What do you have here? Nothing. A standard door, as opposed to your non-standard door? again. Hmm. Alright, uh, do we try this door or we check, let's check the end of the hallway first. Hmm. Hmm. An insane Rodian? Well, that's not good. Is he insane in the membrane? I deeply apologize if I now have that song stuck in your head. Ooh, contraband! I'll take it. Computer spike, some bazaar cards, hair trigger, short sword. I, oh, 
Uh, yes, please. Riot equipment. Is the equipment for starting a riot or preventing a riot? Because I'd really like to get this riot started. Uh, stun baton, blast pistol, combat suit, and a long sword. Okay, I'm sure somebody could use that. Figuring on that stupid, insane Rodian, aren't you? Alright, let's, uh... Let's go back here. Plus two to reflex. Or... Or stealth field. No, no. I'll stick with the normal, uh... I shall not be seen. Stealth ability that she has. Oh! It's a party! Mm -hmm. That's not the party I was hoping for. Alright, uh... So if we do the force wave... Do a shield... Put him in stasis. Put him in stasis. Oh, and that's all the actions we can have queued up at the moment. <sighs> okay, here we go. Seriously? Never mind. Um, that was a little easier than I was expecting. Uh, he's not lootable. He's not lootable. Oh, you are. You're lootable. What does Sir Lootable have on him? An ion grenade. That would have been useful just a few minutes ago. Alright. Uh, that's probably an explodey thing. I already looted those boxes. And what do we have in the locker? Parts. Credits and a med pack. Yes, please. And in locker number two, we have a computer spike, parts, and six, bu six bucks. <laughs> uh, I might be able to get something off of the dollar menu at the cantina, right? Alright, let's get it. And in the last locker, we have. In the last locker, we have. There we go. Computer spike, parts, ten credits. There we go. Now we can go to the fancy part of the cantina. Alright, so that's the lockers. And... Oh, you are lootable. Okay, I thought you weren't. Poison grenade, frag grenade. Those could have been useful earlier, but I ain't complaining too much. Peter Spike, pass card. Okay. And another 22 bucks. Okay. I, I am curious. Oh, no. Okay. So she's got all the money. <laughs> all right. At least there's that. I mean, that's got to be, like, good for a bribe or something, right? I shall not right. be seen. Will not be seen. All right. So what we got down this way, besides some insane Rodians that the game seems to continually want us to fight. Uh, one of these keys ought to open it, right? Oh! One of the keys does open it. Sweet. And behind this door we have... Nothing. Not a soul. Alright. And behind this door we have... 
nothing. Not a soul. You know, I'm beginning to doubt the usefulness of this key. I mean, what good's unlocking soul doors if there's, you know, not your party behind a door? <laughs> You're not Sith. Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Help me out of the cell. Uh... I'll see what I can do. Key cards from guards. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so that's why the other Rodians are in state? Too late for that. <laughs> Alright, now you're gonna help me. Uh, take icebreaker. It lets you slice into computers on the ship. Tune the breaker to work on the brig computer, so you use it on brig level. Doesn't work anywhere else. Hey, I'll take all the help I can get, man. Remember, only good for one use. Mm. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I got one use of the icebreaker. Good, because her used computer is um. Oh, how do we put it? Low. Right. Nothing here. And the way it wants me to keep attacking these guys, like it keeps queuing them up for the attacks. I'm thinking I... Do I leave him there, or do I try to let him go? Let me try letting him go. They could they could just run around causing havoc for the guards too, right? Okay. Wait, what? Are you guys serious? You're gonna attack me for that? Alright, fine. <laughs> Be your suck, ha! Where's the third one? Oh, you went this way? Yeah. We'll disengage. Let the guards deal with them. Alright, and what is behind the standard door then? Oh! Hello. Uh, let us stasis you. Force wave you, and then commence with power dash. There we go. Oh, you don't have any loot on him? Well, hey. Oh, but there's a terminal here. Oh. And what are you storing, Mr. Container? Some more computer spikes and parts. Alright. What is... Okay, um, hmm. I don't have a whole lot of spikes, so... Yeah, her used computer is a 2. Uh, <laughs> at least it's a positive number. I I've played some characters. Uh, next time next time I'm dual streaming CoffeeCraft, you can ask Arcadius about some of the characters I've had and some of their uh, skill attribute levels, or lack thereof. Like the time I snuck down a hallway with a move silently of minus five. No, minus seven. All right, let me use the icebreaker. You hook up the icebreaker to the terminal after a few moments so you see activity on the screen. All right. And what's in the barracks? Uh, looks like I've already Empty the barracks. Alright, cell block starboard. 
Nothing to see there. Ooh. I could release the cell force fields. And it's going to use up eight spikes. And I might have already cleared those. Alright. What about the detention area? Alright. Medical? Um, droid maintenance. You know, I feel like I should be seeing more stuff here than, uh, than what we got here. Alright, what system commands? Alright, it's gonna cost me ten spikes to open the detention area and another five to get schematics. Uh, Alright, let me definitely get the schematics. Having a map is always useful. And let me open up the detention area. And let's go back and try our luck. I shall not be seen. Alright, I've at least got a map of this level now. Probably check that map, shouldn't I? Okay. So that is the elevator. Oh, I keep forgetting you guys can't see the mouse. Um, all the way on the right, that is the elevator. Down the hall to my left as I go down the hallway. On my left will be medical. On my right will be droid maintenance. Uh, hopefully I can recover HK in there. And then detention. All right. Looks like it's pretty straightforward then. I go down, I'll take care of those, and that's uh, surprisingly straightforward. Those are always the most dangerous. Speaking of dangerous, walking around without saving is also known to be dangerous. There we go. Does he, like, sense me or something? Fine. You know what? This whole force wave and power attack's been working out pretty good. He's only stunned. Come on. Finish him. I shall not be seen. Uh. Okay. I shall not be seen. That was weird. It was suddenly refusing to walk forward. You know what? That seems like the better part. <laughs> Toss a grenade. Energy resistance. Knock them both down. And then start in with the power attacks. Oh, there was three of them. <laughs> um. Okay. There was three of them. I'm getting really worried now. Because I would have thought for sure that there was going to be a fight. I mean, there's been some fights, but, uh... Alright. Medical or droid maintenance? Let's do the droid maintenance first. Droid up... Ooh, okay. Droid upgrades. Decommissioned droid. This is where having one of the guys that actually has a computer skill will come in handy. Ooh. An advanced th flamethrower? Yes, please. Energy shield, light plating, medium plating, motion. Yes, please. Yeah, take it all. Sort it out later. 
You know, I was expecting to find... I hope that's not HK over there on the table. That would be sad. Alright, let's go for the footlocker. Stun ray, construction kit, some parks, and... Secure another flamethrower. Yeah, no, no, no. We'll take it all. We'll get it later. Alright, um... This droid is damaged and inactive. Sure, let's reactivate it. Uh, huh. I've only got 17 repair parts, and because her repair skill is also awfully low... Um, hmm. I'm not going to do all the optimization. I really would love to just for the XP alone. But it might be worth putting him in patrol mode. Okay. There we go. Go on. Be a distraction. Be a good droid. Distract him. Uh, was that everything that I looted over here? Yeah. Because I looted the footlocker. I looted the spare parts bin. Alright, over to medical. Sure would be nice to have another member of the party around, though. I mean, solo mode is fun and all, but uh, it would be nice to have some company. Let's go ahead and move faster at least. Patient gear. Nothing. Well, I guess that makes sense. This is empty. I mean there's a couple of patients outside, but I've already taken taken their gear. Ooh. Yes, please. And also nice. Okay, I'll take it all. That does remind me. Oh, she can't use the implants yet. Okay. That's why she doesn't have any yet. That would have been useful. I shall not be seen. around the way. Trying to do Monty Python's How Not to Be Seen. Alright, the dungeon area should be unlocked, shouldn't it? Oh, that sounded a little ominous, didn't it? Alright, let's make our way clockwise. storage. Locked. Dang it. Are you kidding me? Come on. I gotta have the non-hacker hack a, uh... Alright. Dolls unlocked. Warning. Danger, Will Robinson. Johnny. Danger. In freeing us from the cell, you have proven yourself truly worthy of the title of Jedi. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship... Our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates of the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. That sounds kind of feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching. And I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. Well, especially walking around in our underwear. All right. We need Surprise some sort of plan. and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hall. Count me in then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. Dude. And I have a feeling I'm going to find him on the Leviathan's bridge. All right. 
careful. It's true, Karth. You can come, but don't let your hatred of Sol Karath jeopardize our true mission, getting the Ebon Hawk safely off the Leviathan. You better come with me and Karth. The others can find their way on their own, but we might run into trouble. We'll need you and your powerful force abilities to deal with it. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. You'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. <laughs> they won't know what hit them. All right. Go for it. We'll meet it. you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the force be with you. We still have to get our equipment, though. Because, uh... Running around and not put jumpers seems unsafe. I'm just saying. Seriously? Okay. Hmm. Oh. You gonna automatically put everything on there too? No? Oh, come on. You gonna make me hunt for my stuff? <laughs> oh, this is literally everything. We had in our in okay. Give me everything. Ooh, and two thousand credits. I'll happily recover some of whoever else's. Uh, you know, I'll hold on to it for him. Doggone! You're gonna make me re-equip everything, aren't you? I had the circlet on. I had. Darth Slain's. Fiber armor. Uh, Which belt did I have? I didn't have the stealth field generator. The nerve amplifier belt had me immune to mind affecting. My versus bludgeoning, which is nice, but nobody's tried to bludgeon me here lately. Um, or reflex plus three. I'm tempted to go for the immune to mind affecting, but uh, let's go with the reflex plus three, even if that wasn't what I originally had. Or if it was. Either way. Alright, uh, strength, strength, dex. I was going with strength. I need shield. Resistance versus slashing. Um, I think I had that one on before, which is nice. But nobody's tried to slash at me much here lately either. Uh, so, I don't know. Do I want to do that or do I want to go ahead and throw on another energy shield so I've got them ready? Now, let me do the f resistance 5 versus slashing. Just in case, because somebody's probably going to try to poke me with a knife when I get close enough. Alright, where is my lightsaber? There we go. And because I'm dueling, I only need the one. And which implant do I want? Dex plus one. Immune to mind affecting. Or immune to critical hits and awareness plus one. Oh. Immune to poison. Con plus four? Oh, I know what my next feat's going to be. The level three implants. Because, yes, I would love to add plus four to my con. Are you kidding me? That's extra hit points. That's a better fortitude save. That's all sorts of goodness. All right, in the meantime, I'll, I'll settle. Settle for immunity to critical hits and a bump to awareness. <laughs> All right, Karth has everything he had on before. He had the Fortitude plus two. Yeah, we'll keep that. Yeah, the energy shields, the armor. What I want to double check though is, is there a better headpiece for him? Uh, will plus three, awareness plus two. That helps the awareness, but not the will save. Immune to poison, but not much else. Uh, improved power blast. 
Uh, oh, I think he's already got that feat. And we'll save... Alright, so now we'll take the bump to will and awareness. Because, uh, yeah, he's gonna need that. And he's got the strength plus one. Why does he have the strength plus one? That's probably because that's all I had handy. Let's bump his dex up. He doesn't need strength, he shoots people. Alright, and dex plus one, dex plus one... Immune to mind affecting, immune to critical hits, and awareness. Oh, he can use the level 3 stuff. Oh, the con would be nice, immunity to poison would be nice, but uh, he really does need the bump to dex. He's got a dex plus 1 and a dex plus 1. That should leave his dexterity 18. Okay, that's good. Oh, and I guess he needs to level up too. But uh, let's finish with the equipment first. She can't use any of the implants. Uh, she can't use... Oh, because it requires medium armor proficiency. So yeah, for pretty much the, the same bit, because <laughs> she's definitely going to need the help with the uh, will save. I got a funny feeling like we're going to be fighting some dark Jedi. Alright, and yes, yes to the plus two, double bladed. Reflex, resistance, immune to mind affecting, stealth. Ooh, the immune to mind affecting is tempting, but, uh,. I think we'll stick with the bump to reflex. Alright, yeah, it's gonna... <laughs> new items. Not a bit of these are new items. Alright, uh, let's go here. So she is all leveled up. He needs to be leveled up, apparently. Ooh, he gets a bump to an attribute. Decisions, decisions. If I bump his strength up one more, that helps his melee, because that brings it from a plus one to a plus two. But he does absolutely bupkis for melee, so I think we're going to leave the strength where it's at. I can bump his dex from 16 to 17, which doesn't affect the modifier yet, but it will the next go round. I could bump his con from 14 to 15, but that's the same problem. I could bump his intelligence, which would get him one more skill point. But since his class is soldier and they only get like one skill point per level, that nets him a grand total of three whole skill points. And he doesn't have a lot of skills to work with anyway. He shoots things. He make them dead. Uh, I feel like I should probably bump up his wisdom though. Having a, a better will save would be nice. Although, you don't need the high will save if they're dead. Wisdom or dex? Because charisma is not going to help him at all. Charisma is not his strong suit. Nobody cares about his charisma. He's all stand in the back and shoot them till they're gone. And keep shooting him until there's nothing but a smoking hole in the floor. Uh, so that is the decision. Wisdom or Dex. Wisdom is going to help his will save. Dex is going to help his ranged attacks. He's got the equipment that brings that 16 up to an 18. Which helps. Uh, he's got the equipment that bumps up his will save. Which helps. Hmm. Alright, he's not having trouble hitting him, so I'm not going to worry about the dex right now. We'll bump his wisdom and try to at least get that up a little bit more. So the next attribute bump will bump his wisdom up again. Alright, skills. His whole two skills. Uh... <laughs> Oh wait, no, is one skill, sorry. Awareness. Yeah, he, he could use a bump to awareness. And his feats. 
Oh yeah, I forgot he got a feat at this level. Alright, so we mastered the two up in fighting. We got the best armor money can... Well, we don't have the best armor money can buy yet, but we haven't been over to the planet. Um, He's got top of the line with the blaster specialization. He's got the top of the line for the implants. Uh, He's been doing the power shot. Rapid shot. I guess we'll max off the sniper shot. Because uh, toughness gets him bumped up. Uh, that'll get him DR2 eventually. So we could start up that tree. Because, uh, uh... Hmm. Ooh. Never mind. Sniper shot quadruples the crit threat range of ranged attacks. If it hits, the target is also stunned unless they make a fort save, but it lowers defense by five. Yeah. He doesn't need gearhead. Conditioning might help. That's a bump to all saving throws. Empathy ain't gonna help him. Yeah. Yeah, let, let's go ahead and just give him the toughness and, uh, We'll go up that route. Okay. Accept. So he's topped out, she's topped out. Alright. That is all of them, right? was a little low, but it was. Okay, good. You guys are behind me. Just checking. Right. So there was that cell. There's where we were. Alright. We're just going to run down the halls then. Because we've looted everything, right? Yeah, we looted everything. I don't think they restocked the med bay in between the time we looted it and finished escaping. Oh, you know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't saved. That seems important. Because right when you're feeling pretty safe, that's when bad things happen. Isn't that the way it goes? Down we go. Down the hall. Alright. Oh. This is Candorus. We're at the Evan Hawk. Like we figured it's under heavy guard. But don't worry, we'll figure out a plan to take care of them. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Alright, you guys on the elevator? Alright, let's go to the elevator. And we need to go to the bridge. Well, that ain't good. Alright. Let's see how bad we stepped in it here. Oh! Hello, Mr. Guard. And your little friend, too. Let's throw you in stasis. And power attack the snot out of you. Do something about that guy down there? Oh yeah, you can. Power blast him. Can you do anything? No, you can't see him. You can't see him. So we'll wait until you get back into the What can I do? <laughs> 
you like that. That doesn't look good down there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to make that happen. Yeah. Earth, what are you doing? Oh, shoot. This is going sideways. <laughs> okay. Alright, you know what? Leroy Jenkins, right? Toss it. Oh, yeah, I got some frag grenades, concussion grenades. Actually, ooh, ooh, there we go. That's what I need to do. I need to toss a concussion grenade in there. Then force wave you guys. And then start with the flurry of misses. And Bastila. He needs to try to hit them with a force whirlwind. Get what can I do? Gets his happy buddy over there. She's working on him back there. Karth is all up in the front like he shouldn't be. Let's back off on the regular attack, can we? And try to stasis him. Flurry. Let's get car. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'd love to do the sniper shot, but you're way too up front for that. Uh, so let's try to poke more holes in you. Ready. <laughs> The force fights with me. Are you kidding me? Did they see us here yet? I'd like to loot these bodies real quick. Is 28 bucks. You know, I mean, that, that, hmm, what's the data pad? Uh, that's not new, that's not new, that's not new. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, let's go through this real quick. This is new. But hey, it's new because it wasn't in there and now it is. I, w I want to find the data pad. Data pad. This data pad contains detailed descriptions of you and Bastila. It also has a brief message. Bastila has escaped Terrace. Whoever can find and dispose of her and her Jedi companion will be greatly rewarded by Lord Malik himself. That's it? Oh, that's the, you know, Hadarian thing. Okay. Uh, we set up a repair station at the storage room airlock to fix the damage to the bridge hull. Get the space suits from the armory. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'll take 
care of the other stuff later. Looks like I need to find some spacesuits. We're about to go for a walk. That does beg the question, though. Where are the suits? Oh. Yeah, they don't see me yet. Oh. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just looting all the lockers. Oh, yeah. I'll take those. Yeah, I, I heard your ship was overburdened with gear, so I'm, I'm here to help, help with that. In somebody's port. Somebody's 19 bucks. <laughs> I'm over here looting every freaking footlocker, and what, it isn't until the last one that he actually notices? Yeah, okay. That's beautiful. All right, let's hit you with a concussion grenade. Let's hit you with a force wave. Let's hit you with stasis. And then we'll flurry it up. All right. Uh, come on, Karth. You can't reach that dude back there. All right, fine. Lay in the rapid shots. Or hit him with a stasis field. Lay down the flurries. Anybody else going to immediately become aware of us and do something? Okay. Oh, Not a one of them's lootable? That's just a tragedy. Nobody had pocket change? Like, not a couple of bucks? Keep going down that hallway, or do I want to keep going this way? Let's try this door first. All right. Oh, he's not paying attention to me just yet. So let's. Uh, hmm. Down you go. Yeah. Finish him off. Down you go. Down you go. Come on, knock him down. Finish him off. None of us has the awareness to see those things. Are you kidding me? I guess I should have been pumping more points into awareness then. Alright, uh, hmm. We were... Just in there? Yeah, we were just in there. Alright. Uh, let's check the map. Okay. So we started there at the elevator. We went into the barracks. We went down the elevator corridor. We got a little bit of the central corridor. Uh, hmm. All right, let's 
Let's try the south part then. Let's keep going down this hallway. See what that brings. Actually, let's try going down this hallway after saving the game. Okay. 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 There we go. Way or go down that way. Well, it's down at the end of the hall. At the end of the hall is another hall. All right. Let's try this way then. Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. There's not as many as it looks. Alright, let's disable you. Hit the force wave and go. He's got the massive destroy droid, right? Yeah. And since they're double teaming, let's just throw some blast bolts down that way. Oh! Okay. That went easier than I expected. Blading type 3 and advanced frame flamethrower? Yes, please. Anything there? Nope. Alright, uh, let's go to the footlocker and yeah, sure. I'll take all that. I'll sort out its usefulness later. Superior targeting computer. I'm sure somebody could use that. Uh, ooh. The droid does not respond to you. Okay, so that would take us back into the barracks that we've already been in. Alright. Yes. Come on, guys. Get closer to the door. Oh. Okay. There's nothing here. No. No hidden things there. Alright. Let's hack the computer for a spike. Uh, security cameras. Barracks 1 is empty. Barracks 2 is empty. Barracks 3? Oh, Barracks 3 is not empty. Droid maintenance. Nope. Droid maintenance is taken care of. Danger. Activate experimental assault droid. Ooh. No. I, I got a bad feeling. Like, I'm sitting here thinking, oh yes, I would love to turn an experimental assault droid loose on them. We're the only target nearby. That, that's probably that's probably not going to turn out the way I want it to. So let's go back. Uh, what's in the armory? All right. So there's a mine in the armory, unless I somehow lose track of it between now and then. All right. Elevator corridor one is clear. Corridor two. Seriously, what, what, what is, what is, the, okay. These are the most useless security cameras I've ever come upon. No wonder why the Empire sucks all the time. I mean, okay. The first useful thing I've seen after poking at all these cameras, there's one more dude floating around on patrol. Alright, uh, Security doors, schematics. Yeah. Let's go ahead and open all the security doors. Let's get a map. And return to the menu and log out. I'm pretty sure overloading the terminal I'm standing at is not the smart move. Just, you know, saying. Alright. There we go. A map. 
That's the droid bay. Uh, that's elevator corridor. That's the central corridor where we saw home skillet walking. So we need to we need to get to the armory, All right? We should probably clear out the barracks. I might want uh, bridge storage. Yeah, I'll probably want that for too. So I'm gonna head forward, hang a left back into the barracks, and then hang a right outside the barracks in that first left. I'm also going to save the game. Cause I'm paranoid like that. All right, let's save the game. I kind of wish there was an option in that terminal to uh, turn the alarm off. Oh, I saw you. Good. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Fine. Can I not pick up the spacesuit? I would like a spacesuit, please. Alright. Items are... There we go. Alright. Oh. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, I'll take all the grenades. Come on. Give me the grenades. All concussion grenades. Thermal detonators. And sonic grenades. Did I already loot that one? I think I did. But let's double check. Okay. Ooh, what's in the security equipment? I've already looted the security equipment. Uh, what else can I pillage here? The backpacks are not lootable. What's in the armor locker? Powered light battle armor. Oh, that's some of the armor I, w I almost bought out at the station. All right, thank you. And some more battle armor, Dura Steel heavy armor. I know a couple of guys that wear heavy armor. All right. And in the gun locker, we got some stuff that will be easily converted to credits later. And some more stuff that will be easily converted to credits later. And some more stuff that will be easily <laughs> converted to credits later. <laughs> Thank you for the credits. But, uh, take a look real quick. Because Karth, right now, is wearing... Davik's Warsuit. He's had that for a while. Uh, it's got a defense bonus of 8 and a max dex of 3. DR10 versus cold and fire. So I need something with a better defense than 8. Uh, with his dex of 18, so that would actually be an 11 total. Uh, the combat suit is not it. Uh, let's see, what's the total? 21. 21. So, no, we're not there yet. Mm. That. On the one hand, kind of stinks because that actually bumps his defense down from 21 to 20 because it has one less max dex. On the other hand, is damage resistance 25 versus Sonic. Although, I don't know how much of that we've been running into. It's also got a strength of plus one. But strength isn't his bag, so let's go to the battle armor. That, that's got... It. <laughs> okay, the battle armor is... That, that looks like it's about to be sold for the credits, because that, uh, that is even worse. What about the Dura Steel Heavy Armor? That is... 
That is worse. Are you kidding me? All right, never mind. That war suit we, we picked up way, way back on Terrace is still the superior armor. Who would have thought? All right, although, let's check some of these blasters too, because he's got that Mark III. That's 3 to 10, plus 2, so that's a plus uh, 23 to hit, 7 to 14 damage. 23, uh, nope. 21, nope. 23, yeah, but no. Uh, that bowcaster is a two-handed. The assault gun is a rifle, so that's two-handed. Yeah. Mm hmm. Never mind. He is perfectly fine with just about everything he's got. 21, 6 to 11. Nope, never mind. He's perfectly good with everything he's got. Now, what about my armor? Oh, never mind. The armor itself leaves me immune to mind affecting. And damage resistance against fire, also nice. As a yeah, so that's a twenty-nine. That so the powered light battle armor would give me the same defense, and I trade immune to mind affecting for strength of plus one. Uh, no, that, that's not enough of a bump. That is not enough of a bump to make it worthwhile. All right. Back to the alarms and things. You know what I hate? All these stinking landmines. All right, I'm lost. All right. I just came from the armory. I still need to get to the barracks to wipe those out. We got the bridge corridor. Bridge storage. Yeah, alright, so I'm gonna hang a right. Loop around that hallway on the south side. Take out the barracks. Loop up north. I'm gonna skip that two bridge part. So I can come back down the corridor and clear out those rooms to the north. Because, uh, I'd hate to leave anything behind. And does this computer panel have anything worthwhile? Or is this going to be the one that I, uh... Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing useful here. to full health. Alright. Let's get you squared away. Oh! <laughs> okay. I forgot, when I opened all the doors, I opened all the doors. Oh, shoot. That was about to end very poorly. 
Well, since they don't need the Foot Locker, <laughs> somebody's 36 bucks. Uh, I guess, well, they won't have that night on the town they were looking for anyway, so... Uh, 13 bucks. I guess we found the midway, the mid-wage guy. And 27 bucks. He must have won the poker match that night. And... A repair kit. Useful. But I like money. Another repair kit. Antidote. Uh, he didn't have anything on him. Repair kit and 39 bucks. Okay. Everybody's all set, right? Let's uh, just make sure everybody's all healed up. Let's do the smart thing before we walk around another corner into a, a barracks full of people. And save. Rushing ahead would be dangerous and stupid. Around this corner we go. That was going to take us to the bridge, which we did not want to do yet. Alright. Oh! So there's a Dark Jedi Master here. Yes. Let's go ahead and get you to do your Force Armor. Night Vow. Force Resistance. Let's get you to throw a thermal detonator because, yeah. And sure, let's try to hit him with stasis. Sure. This is about to go poorly. Uh, shoot. And let me go and throw a heal at the end of that, because that's probably going to be good. Uh, yeah, your next move needs to be a cure twice. Then you can try to do that. Oh, that's him down there. Okay. And where do I want your attentions drawn? Well, since nobody's going to be over there, let's chuck a thermal detonator and start <laughs> laying in on those rapid shots. Right here. Alright then. <laughs> oh man, sure, sure would have been nice if I could have hacked this dude like two minutes ago. Sure. Okay. Well, that worked the last time. I did this. Okay. I guess not. All right, and Mr. Darth Dead Guy has 85 bucks, some drugs, and a concussion grenade. All right, and the Foot Locker's got some spikes, and this locker has some parts and spikes and five bucks. I guess somebody was looking for Taco Tuesday or something, but only a Taco Bell. Or are you going to get something approximating a taco for cheap? Parts med pack. Two bucks. Somebody's ordering off the dollar menu tonight. Three parts. What else we got here? Nothing else of the little seriously? Darth other guy doesn't have uh lootable stuff? That's just sad. Alright. Have we been here? No, we've not been here. 
What do you got for... S okay. Sure, I'll read the medicine cabinet. Uh, bio antidote package. That sounds like it could be useful. 49 bucks. What is that? Somebody's copay? And 10 bucks. Uh, I can't even... I don't know. I don't know what to do with that one. Alrighty then. We got all the spacesuits. We've looted all the doors. Uh, looks like that wants to take me to the bridge. Although I thought... Bridge storage. The bridge. Alright, let me go ahead and save the game. Okay. And let's see where that takes me. Oh. Oh, anti -climatic. Everybody full health yet? No. There we go. Now we're all at full health. Alright, let's grab some parts. Alright. Here. What else we got? I always get worried when they start giving you a lot of gear like this. Like, so far it's been pretty easy and it's like, oh hey, they're giving us an awful lot of med packs and things. Huh. Wonder what could possibly go wrong. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it, it's always it's always when they start giving you all sorts of stuff that you should be going. Hmm. I I, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder what's coming up that they feel the need to keep giving you med packs and more med packs and yet another med pack. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, because no, no, we got the spacesuit, so we should be okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, seriously. We're, we're, we're in these slow and balloon pursuits. fight in this thing. I mean, look at that suit. It's bulky enough that I, I have to legit wonder if I could two-hand strike with a lightsaber with that thing. I mean... Go ahead. Come on, character. Clap. Can you clap? Like going to the bodybuilding conventions and saying clap. Alright. Waddle on in here. There we go. Right. That's the way out. This is the way in. Oh, uh, I don't know what kind of bad things are going to be on the other side, so let's go ahead and, yeah. That seems smart. Oh! Um. Why am I not drawing a saber? Why do I not have a lightsaber equipped? What? Wait. Why does she not have a lightsaber equipped either? Alright. Are we 0 for 3? We are 0 for 3. Are you kidding me? Mark 3. And where is Karth's very special blaster? There is Karth's very special blaster. Well, that was odd. Why'd they start us off without a weapon? Alright. Let the games begin. Alright, what am I gonna do? I am going to... Yeah, let me throw another one of the thermal detonators and then have you, uh, stay put. 
And I'm going to force wave and flurry you. Uh, let's try to hit you with a stasis field and then hit you. start flurrying you. What's Karth going to do? Karth. I'm going to start power blasting the ever living snot out of home skillet back there. And hopefully, you can get the rumble! Ha! How'd you like that? There Let's go. make some How'd you like that? Ha! 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 Alright. And what remains on your remains? Meds. Are they sinus meds? So I'm starting to feel the pressure build up again. Uh, I might, uh... This part early on this floor, I might call it here. I stand between two paths, and I... Oh, wait, no, I see some lockers to loot. So, let's get all the lootables first. That's always fun. And we got some computer spikes, and crushing grenades, and sonic grenades, and a med pack. A cheap one, but I'll take it. And some more grenades, and a med pack. And... Meds, a construction kit, some more grenades, and a med pack. Alright. Maybe I'm not using enough grenades. Should, should I be using more grenades on these guys? Because uh, they keep giving me more grenades. Makes me wonder. Alright. Um, does my map tell me thus far? My map tells me that I went... Alright. Um... Real quick. So I'm trying to see if there's... Uh, t -t 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 -t. That's the bridge. Alright, yeah, th this one, this level should be short enough. Th this last, this floor should be short enough that I can get this one done, and then I will call it a night. I hate that we didn't get a chance to finish the Leviathan, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and, uh, actually, while I'm here, let's save it just in case this goes, uh, poorly. Are you sure you want to save? Yes, I'm very sure I want to save. Okay. Well, let us go and head on over to the bridge. Let's knock this one out. <laughs> no, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. Are we about to have that conversation? Well, this feeling Very like resourceful. Might. I assume you had some part in this. You learned your lessons well from me. The only thing you taught me was <laughs> betrayal and death, so. Don't be a fool. I'm giving you and your companions a chance to surrender, <laughs> a chance to live. Darth a chance Malik to surrender after I murdered half of your crew? Any moment. He speaks the truth, Karth. I can feel the Dark Lord's presence approaching. Malak will destroy you. But if you throw down your weapons now, I will ask my master to be merciful. I've seen enough of Sith yeah. mercy. You always did like to do things the hard way. Lord Malak would have preferred live prisoners, but corpses will have to do. <laughs> okay, then. Alright, how we want to do this? 
Alright, we want to... Force wave. We want to get an energy shield up. Because that seems smart. And then... Ooh, that's a tough one. Let's try to stasis him and start worrying about Darth on the on the right. All right, and she's going to want to hit up the force. Gotta get the queue up. All right, the force armor and the night valor and the force resistance. And try to stasis that dude on the left. And he... i try to beat the snot out of this guy over here. And hope this doesn't blow up on my face. <laughs> no, no pun intended. Yes! Yeah. She's already gotten all that hit. Yeah, she's gonna want to cure at the next opportunity. Uh, has he had a chance to do anything yet? Okay. He's gotten a couple of power blasts off of him. Let's get those queued up. I hate that he keeps turning yes. the camera on every time. Let's go! Down you go! Down you go! Alright. I really want to get these Jedi out of the way first and foremost. Alright, let's uh Oh, you don't have enough for a cure. Alright, let's get a med pack on you. Let's get two med packs on you. And then get this guy squared away. He dead? He doesn't seem to be targetable. Okay, yep, he is dead. Okay, good. Just sure. making sure. couple of cures on board here. Uh, oh good. He's dead. He must be dead. Okay. Yeah, let's get that other cure. Let's hit up the uh, nudge. Alright. Doesn't have any force points left for that. Of course. Let's get a med pack going on Karth, and let's queue up the power blasts. What can I do? Let's make this work. Come on. There he is. That worked out better than Karth. I hoped. Karth. The Admiral. He's still alive. It's time to finish this. <laughs> Take your time, Karth. Make him suffer for what he's done to you. Forget him. We gotta get out of here before Malak arrives. Let, let's go the Jedi way. No, Karth. Don't give don't in to you your hatred. What this man has done to my life. Do you know the pain he's brought me? Killing him won't ease the pain, Karth. Do not become what you despise. Karth. <laughs> Must tell you. <laughs> Must tell you something. <laughs> Do we have time for this? Looks like we have time for this. <laughs> Unintelligible whispers. Yeah, this can't be good. Remember my dying words. Remember them whenever. 
Whenever you look at those you thought were your friends. Ah! That can't be good. It can't be true, can it? No, 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 it can't. Damn you. So, damn you. Um, <laughs> okay, he's dead. Your family's avenged. Can we get out of here now? Uh, what did he say? Or forget it. Whatever he said was only trying to hurt you. Ooh. I mean, I already know how the story goes. So I'm pretty sure I know what he told him. But, do I want to go forget it? Or do I want to ask Karth what he said and open up a can of worms right here on the bridge? Yeah, let, let's go with whatever he said he was trying Vassal, to do. it you. is true, isn't it? And, and you knew. You and the whole damn Jedi Council, you knew the whole time. Karth, it's not what you think. We had no other choice. Please, you don't understand. So make me understand. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> okay, I guess we, we can't avoid the long conversation on the bridge, so what are you two Not talking here, about? Karth, please, there's no time. Malak is coming, this isn't the place. Please, Karth, I'm asking you to trust me for just a little while longer. Alright, let's do this after I'll the trust escape. you, Vassila, but as soon as we're off this ship, I expect some answers. Of course, Karth. As soon as we get to the Ebonhawk, I'll explain no, no, no. everything. As soon as we get the Ebonhawk away from this place. <laughs> Alright, that, that's what you meant to say. Seven bucks? Seriously? I mean, he is one of the regular soldiers, so I guess I shouldn't have been too surprised. Where did the two Darth guys go? Hmm. Oh, yes! See, this is why you always loot the officer. They have 3,700 bucks on them. I'm sure that'll buy a lot of forgiveness. Seriously? None of the Dark Jedi had anything worth looting on them? Are you kidding me? Those guys are usually loaded with stuff. Let's get down to the end of the hallway before we gotta go to the next area. And, uh, and then we'll probably call it a night catch up to me, all right? You guys there? All right, here we go. Oh. Behind that door is another door. Any lockers? Any loot ones? No. Okay. Behind that door is another door. Oh, okay. It brought us back here, all right? We need to get to the elevator, so I need to head dead ahead. And then left or right. And a left and a right. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure they didn't restock any of the rooms at time, in the time it took us to uh, uh, readjust their crew allocation. 
Okay, never mind. There appears to be a couple of Dark Jedi who happened along. Aim that. I was expecting these guys to be, uh... Oh, they're the friends. Okay. Bam. Never mind. Oh, ding, who's got a level? Basil has got a level. Yes, please. Let's do that right now. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Let's pump up her wisdom. Because she doesn't need the charisma base skills. That'll get her more points and make her Jedi powers harder to... Yeah, there, there's no question. Much as I'd love the strength, it's not going to move the needle enough. But wisdom will definitely help all her force powers. Skills. Keep going to treat injury and awareness. Somebody's got to be aware of this stuff. Powers. Um, yeah, it would be nice to have the heal power on board. Although, it would also be nice to move from the whirlwind to the wave. Uh, hmm. Although, yeah, let's bump up the valor. Okay. Okay. That's everybody, right? That's everybody. Save that real quick. Okay. I guess. Okay. Are you kidding me? He did not get that. Oh. Oh. This is the way it's going to be. How much more crew do I need to downsize on you? Alright. Uh, it's looking a little rough. Let's fix that. Let's fix that again. Let's fix that one more time. Well, since I wasn't expecting this kind of resistance on the way back, let's go ahead and save it one more time. I was hoping to get to the elevator and then save it before we got down the elevator. Alright. So we are at the elevator controls. Yeah, never mind. That's going to be a little bit longer than I got the endurance for tonight. So, let me go ahead and save this right here. Save. Okay, are you sure? Yes. And this is where I go ahead and hit exit so the awful alarm is not going off in the background. <laughs> While I move this over to the credit scene and say thank you very much for joining in. Sorry this is a little bit shorter than usual. Uh, I was really hoping to finish the Leviathan before the end of the night. But as I mentioned at the top of the stream, uh, I'm still, still a little run down from that sinus infection. So my, my endurance isn't quite back up to par. Um... But next week should be good. Next week I should be. I should finally have this knocked out. I hope. I so hope. I'm done with this. I'm ready to be done with this. Alright. With all that said and done. Um, thank you for joining in. 
we do this Thursday nights at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And I do another stream during the week on Tuesdays, CoffeeCraft. It's a uh, Let's pray, Play Minecraft server. And uh, so if you're into Minecraft, check that out on Tuesdays. All my stream archives are available on Twitch and Mixer. At, at least as long as those services hold on to them. And I also upload them to the YouTube channel. So if you're watching on Twitch or you're watching on Mixer, make sure that you follow uh, up there, up there. One of those two. Uh, it's up in one of those corners. <laughs> so that way you know, you get notified when I go live and you can join in the fun, chat in the comments and all that good stuff. And if you are, if you want to check out previous episodes, the archives, and any produced content I publish in the near future, those are on the drawing boards. Then you can check out the YouTube channel, which should be in the description below. And make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel and do all those good fun things that everybody tells you at the end of the video and I'm not going to insult you by thinking you don't know what to do so just go there do the stuff that you know what you're supposed to do like subscribe and all that um, if you are watching this on YouTube thank you for checking out the past episodes hopefully you've already subscribed if you haven't please do that way you'll get notified when new stuff gets uploaded and if you want to check into this live down below are links to the Twitch channel and the mixer channel right now i am simulcasting to both um at some future point in time i may talk about future plans of going twitch exclusive uh because mixer's been a little weird lately but that is another subject for another day if you like what's going on live.anonjunior.com will take you to the streamlabs page where you should be able to support um, I know the page is up and running. I honestly don't know if it's working, though, because it was I, I signed up for the page when it was free, uh, but it was only it was apparently only free during the beta, so I got to decide if I want to start spending the money on a Streamlabs Pro package. I might do it just for the background music because they have a humongous library, and uh, that would be nice to add. But uh, that might be another channel talk thing that happens in a produced package a little bit later on down the road enough rambling thank you have fun enjoy and i hope to see you next week <laughs>